Because what I wanted to see is, is the, there we go, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and power up, uh, do the diagnostics. So pulling down pound and D. Okay, power's now connected to the CMI. Get KDAG 3, MIDI 11. Release these, the 2114 test's okay. After a minute or so, of course. Let me see the ACIA tests all right. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press some keys. We're now gonna press the switches, switch one down and up, switch two down and up. I'm gonna move potentiometer number one. You can see there, the range is not the full range, but there's no question that it's acknowledging potentiometer one, and that's potentiometer one all the way to the left. Potentiometer number two going up, potentiometer number two going down, pop. Three going up, pot three going down, okay, pitch bend going up, pitch bend going in neutral, pitch bend going down. You notice there were a couple of flickers there about other wheels, I'm not sure why those are, or the pots, a little noise in the circuit. So you see now this is moving wheel number two, which does in fact move. All right now I'm going to start pressing keys on the keyboard. This is pressing middle C. Nothing occurs. Going up a C scale. Bum 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 bum. Go back there because that's where the display should be. Bum 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 bum. But clearly nothing recorded there. That's now I'm pressing keys in the high range. Bum 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 bum. Now in the low range. Bum. So none of those three work. I want to press keys on the keyboard here. You can see there, like the keypad press one will be down and up. Keypad press two down and up. Keypad press three. The star. Okay, that brings us into command. And if I hit three, it brings us back into that loop, which will keep testing. And that just keeps flickering and flickering. Um, and that's about as much as I know. I can't seem to get any voltages across those bars. Did try that but I see nothing mechanical or nothing on the keyboard that looks like a loose connection, and certainly nothing that locates to one single region of those three uh, separate areas underneath the keyboard. So I suspect the main processor, of course, despite the fact that this stuff is running. I did try the MIDI test, and the uh, MIDI connector was unable to play any uh, data on a connected keyboard.